Hello guys and welcome back to Simon Family Farms. Uh, if you remember in the previous episode we planted sunflower on the field 9 and we cultivated field 10. And the plan with field 10 is to put corn in but it's a bit early as just the second day of spring and we gotta wait for another day to actually be able to put corn in. So I decided to do a quick contract as a seeding contract so in contract even on the field 16 we got put out in and we borrowed the equipment since I've not got my own seeder yet. So I feel like maybe we're gonna use this money towards our own seeder so we can actually put some cereal crop in for the next year. Right, if we jump into the tractor, uh, field is literally just around the corner. Uh, we're in the store at the moment, it's right there, field 16. Right, if we Put the gears in and just drive up. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, so if you take a left, there was another contract on the field, uh, one of the bigger fields actually. It was a uh, field 18. But, uh, I thought it was a bit too much because I'm thinking to maybe sit on the course play or something just so we can maybe do something else in the meantime. Oh. And I've taken the wrong turn, obviously. Well, let's just come in from this side and drive over the grass. Right, sadly, it's not got GPS on it since uh, it's one of the contract mo uh, contract vehicles. So I'll have to maybe go around the headland and set on worker, or maybe just do GPS. Uh, put the diff locks on both, front and rear. And let's lower it and off we go. The size of that planter is mental. And it's not even working. There we go, that's more like it. Right, so I've seen some comments uh, saying that he's wanting to see some cattle on the farm. And that is something I want to do as well. So this is probably another one of good reasons to do another contract because I'll need a baler for the straw. Um, I've got a cheap baler in the mod list, I think it's one for £5,000 or something. Um, I should probably change the pounds to dollars since this is an American map and then once I'm playing on a British map I should put it back to pounds just for more realism. Um, also guys, I've now got a Discord channel so a uh, discord server so if you please check out the description make sure you come and say hello on the discord uh, it's pretty empty at the moment but you know that's expected because i've literally just started so it's a bit funny how i got this tractor to go with this cedar from the contracts but the tractor is obviously struggling so it'll take a bit longer than i'd like it to yeah, but it's not too bad. We've got some time, so let's just crack on with it. And yeah, I'll put it back on a time lapse for you.
Okay, so it looks like we've only got a couple of passes left after this. Um, there's a little bit left on the right hand side. Oh, the contract's finished. Um, so might as well just finish this pass and then I'll be us get the money. I'm gonna probably just leave the seed in there. Um, right. Contracts. Collect. So that's 12,300. That's not too bad. Um, let's just quickly jump into our case. Oh, actually, we can use a pickup. We've not used the pickup much. Right, that's our pickup right there. If we jump in and go to the story area. Uh, as you remember, we've purchased the trailer in the previous episode, so it'd be a good idea to pick up because it's been sitting in the store ever since. Right. I really like this pickup. I think I found it on the Mod Network, uh, or maybe one of the other mod websites, like third party websites. I'm not too sure who is it by, but I think it's. Pandables, but I might be wrong there. Look. Should probably focus on driving a little bit more. Right, uh, back on a bumpy road. <laughs> I love that. Especially from the first view, it's quite funny, all this bumpy shakiness, if you like. Almost like a real life. Especially here in the UK, most of the roads are so bad. Quite like with truck, because the mirrors are set up properly as well. Like so many mods, you look at the mirror and you like see pretty much nothing. But this one's done pretty well, except for the rear view mirror, maybe. It'd be quite nice if Giants implemented like mirror adjustment as a standard feature of a game. Because um, as I said, some of the mirrors are just useful, useless. Right, shops right here, yeah, just... Right, it's another nice farm, there's so many nice farms on this map. If you haven't checked this map out, you definitely should. Uh, like most of MRG's maps, like... Just so good. <laughs> Probably... I don't want to say best, but one of the better ones uh, when it comes to American map creators. I don't want to call anyone best because I, I wouldn't like to offend anyone. Right, let's reverse. Right, that's the trailer hooked. Let's take the road back to the farm, go down south. Just go past my favorite farm here on the left. It'll be so nice when you can finally afford that farm, have like loads of cattle. Uh, what do you guys think I should go for? Dairy or beef? Probably dairy since this map is mainly dairy focused. It'd be nice to have some calves as well. Right, bum bum bum. <laughs> Sorry, ignore me. Ignore my nonsense and ignore my nonsense driving as well, please. Right, that's a nice hawk farm as well. Uh, not sure if you guys looked at it before. Let's have a wee look. It's pretty cool. Um, I would still like to see pigs being able to walk outside, but as a decent, decent pen, decent shed even. Right, maybe one day we can buy this as well. As long as we can afford it, let's have a look how much it is. And it's not too bad, 98,000. But the problem again is the feed. Pegs need so many different things, like it's mental. Oh yeah. Got all of that LED strip at the top as well. Right. 
That's us almost back. Oh, the trailer could do with some repairing as well because we bought it second hand. And that's not our farm. I was gonna actually start on this farm, but when I decided uh, I prefer the bigger cow pen, uh, so I went for this farm here on the right. I uh, just don't like the tiny cow pastures. Like this one isn't much bigger, but it is bigger than the one in the other farm. I do like having the cow pastures where you can actually have animals wander around outside. Um, I mean, can it be too good for the cow sitting inside all the time? Right, let's park it back up. And what I'll probably do is I'll fast forward the time so we can actually put a crop in. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we can finally put some corn into this field. Um, it is fully fertilized. And yeah, fully fertilized. And it's got lime spread on it as well. So all we've got to do now is put some corn in. If you guys excuse my voice, I've got a wee bit of a sore throat as well today. So I think I got cold yesterday on the bike. Uh, we had some nice weather here, and you know, as soon as you, uh, as soon as it gets warm, you just start behaving like it's a summer, but it actually isn't, and that's how you get cold. Right, let's get our planter ready. See how much seed we've got in there as well. I should have probably purchased some more seed when we were at the shop, because that might be a problem. Uh, I've still got 890, but I think corn takes quite a bit of seed. Which might be a problem. And we'll need the front weight. Yeah, I do feel like I'm getting cold. Um, I've got a bit of a runny nose, and my throat's been sore since yesterday, so you'll have to excuse me. Unfortunately. Right, let's park it here for now, and um, yeah, it does look like, oh no, we've got some seed in here, haven't we, or, no, that was a fertilizer, yeah, that's dry fertilizer, uh, we're gonna have to go and get some seed in the pickup again, I should have, should have really bought some now, but it is what it is, um, have we got auger wagon? No, we do not. So we might need uh, maybe a seed runner or an auger wagon. So that way we could just load straight into the planter or cedar. Right, I'm just gonna sleep over the night and then tomorrow in the morning we can start planting corn. I'll see you guys in a minute. Ooh, that was a good night's sleep. Right, where is our case tractor then? Get some work done. So the ground temperature is 10 degrees. Outside temperature is 9 degrees, which doesn't really bother us. As long as the ground temperature is up to standard. Uh, apologies to all the American friends, I don't know Fahrenheit. So I assume you'll have to work that out yourself. We could obviously go and change the settings, but... Damn you, Holly. <laughs> I keep dropping the implements off. Um, I could obviously change the settings and into Fahrenheit, but the problem I've got with that is I haven't got a clue about Fahrenheit. And if you say 60, 70, 90 degrees, it says nothing to me. So I don't want to have to go through the hassle every single time to work out what the temp actual temperature is in Celsius. I'll just make sure we've got the right crop and corn. Don't need a map. Right. Right, so I was actually going to put the um, custom crop, uh, custom planting textures and I completely forgot about it. I'll make sure it's done for the next episode or at least for the next plant ex planting season. I've seen quite a few people actually go in and it looks pretty nice. It looks like as if you planted potatoes. 
which is much better than this. <laughs> right, so let's crack on with this as well. And it shouldn't take too long unless I'm gonna have to drive back to the shop to get some seed. But otherwise it shouldn't take too long. As you can see our, our field's doing pretty well. The crop's already growing. Nice and green. Right, I'll see you guys in a minute. And that's us back at the farm with a nice load of seed. Can just park up here. And it's funny how I'm using uh, the controller to lower down the ramp and the actual seeds are moving, the bags of seeds are moving. It's a bit weird, but welcome to Farm Sim Physics. Right, just grab one bag and get it loaded into our planter. I was having a bit of a struggle with that last bag there, but managed to get a, managed to get it loaded. And I'm struggling again. Should probably change the name of my channel to Mr. Struggle, Mr. Struggles. Bam ye exhaust. Right, that should go right in. That's it. Perfecto. And 
you done swinging yet? Oh man, the struggle is real. Right, that's it. Up last. Is that it? Hardly oh, took anything. Right, I'm just uh, probably just gonna lower it and leave it here for now because uh, we are probably having to. I'm gonna have to reload again. Right, that's 1200 litres of seed. Put the planter back on. And let's crack on. Right, I'll put it back on a time lapse, guys. And I'll see you shortly. So that's us pretty much finish. Uh, just a final pass on the field and I'll be as done for the season with the planting. Sunflowers in. Corn's pretty much finished. Uh, I'm probably gonna start looking into getting some cattle. I might have to do some uh, maybe fertilizing contracts or something over the summer until we actually get to harvest our own crop. And I'm gonna use the money I make and contracts to probably get some cattle and get some equipment for feeding and stuff and then if we are lucky enough we might be able to use some slurry or manure for the next year um, I'm not too bothered about not having any cereal crops since we can use corn stalks uh, for bedding which is one of those things I really like about MRG maps which I probably have mentioned so many times by now uh, but yeah um, that's the planting done. Uh, maybe just get a pressure washer and clean some of our equipment since we're not going to be using some of it this year. Well, at least not until autumn. I'm um, just thinking what's the best place for the pressure washer. Uh, probably just next to the grey shed. Right, miscellaneous and pressure washer. Right, probably turn it this way. Perfecto. I just park up right next there so we can do all the implements at once. And if you jump to have a case tractor as well, uh, move this bag. Do a wee bit of tidying up before we end this episode. Uh, I'm gonna drop the seed here for now. And later on, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to move it into our wooden shed on the other side of the farm. Right, let's hook the plow up, move it a bit closer to the pressure washer as well so we can just do all the equipment at once. Right, Taroni. I'll do. Okay, so let's just start with this bad boy. Probably gonna have to move it a little bit because I don't think I'll be able to reach the tank. Yeah, I really don't like keeping my equipment dirty. I wouldn't do that in real life, would you? So, yep. That's that done. Oh, that's brilliant. I can actually reach her. 
Make it ache. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, just uh, wheels a little bit more. And that's that done. So, case, tractor, plow, and the planter, and obviously the front weight. Right, guys, once again, thanks for stopping by. Um, I've got a Discord channel now and the link is in the description so make sure to come and say hello on our Discord channel, uh, Discord server even. And as always don't forget to like, subscribe and leave the comment on if you got any advice or if you want to see something in particular in this series just leave a comment below and yeah thanks again and I'll see you guys soon.